Hello guys, this is Vahid Ahmadi. I'm going to teach you today how to make shapes like this or like this only by using topology and Z modeler brush. And I design all my stuff only by using ZBrush. And for now, let's jump into ZBrush and do something easy like this guy in here. But first thing that I'm going to do in here is appending a plane 3D into my scene. Let's append that. Okay. Let's let this guy. Now let's scale this up. I scale it up. Press monkey on my keyboard to repeat that last action. Uh, let's hover over on my reference. I want to grab my topology brush and I want to draw a line like this according to my reference and let's zoom in again I draw another one in here and I want to do sections in between those lines like so and now I click off the shape to see the preview of them let's do that Okay, let's split that using a split on mask at points. I turn this off. We got thickness. I don't want thickness for now, so I select this cap and I do the hidden. Now I grab my move brush and let's see if accurate curve is turned on. Yes, it is on. It's a very useful feature. It allows the user to move points in more accurate way. And I like that. And if we look at the reference, we see some very harsh and intense bending in here, as well as some shrinkage. So it is telling us that we have to some more loops in this region, in here, and maybe in here. Okay. Now I select my Z modeler brush again. I select extrude with all polygons. Let's do extrude like so. And I insert another loop in here to match with my reference. And all I need to do in here is hover over this edge and I hold down the Alt key and I simply click off that line. And it is gone now. Now I select my stitch. Let's uh, stitch this to this and this guy to this guy. Let's mask this area. I invert the mask. I select my rotate and now I do rotate like this. Okay, so far so good. Now I can mask this area, I invert the mask and I do polish by features like so. You can do that like one or, or so. Okay. And let's preview that using by dynamic subdivision mode to see what's going on. Okay. Let's turn off the floor and I go to document and do half side to see that a little better and in more resolution. And I want to decrease tolerance and like 50 and I do crease, okay. And uh, you can find crease options in here in geometry tab in crease section. And let's come back to normal mode. Okay, so far so good. And I want to mask this area, I invert the mask and I do polish by features again. Okay, let's grab move. If you do like that, you will face some issues, but if you 
select your Z modeler and select move with infinite depth, you will see the difference in very different shape. And you can see I can move points in more accurate way. Yes. Okay, so far so good. This is a very powerful option in Z modeler actions. It will move the points together and accordingly it is really nice nice feature. Okay, let's preview that. And you can change the Chris look. For example, you can add more loops in here and do something like swivel. I select my swivel. I swivel this edge. And if I hover over this edge and click on it, it will repeat the last same action for me without any struggle. Okay, now let's preview that. Or you can simply come in here and let's do bevel for another look. I select my bevel and edge loop partial. We can do like single row, two rows, or four rows. And we can do something like this, and we can do crease again. Let's crease these loops again. Okay. Can mask this area. I invert the mask and I do polish by features like two or so. Okay. And I press V key to preview my silhouette. And I come in here and I do half size to see that better. Okay, that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and take care.